published 1859. Genre, realist fiction. Adam Bede is George Eliot's first full-length novel set in rural England in the early 19th century. The novel revolves around the intersecting lives of its central characters, primarily Adam Bede, Hetty Sorrel, Arthur Donathorne, and Dinah Morris. It is a story rich in moral complexity, dealing with love, social class, rural life, and the consequences of human weaknesses. Plot Summary The novel centers on Adam Bede, a hard-working carpenter with strong moral convictions. Adam is deeply in love with Hetty Sorrel, a beautiful but vain and shallow young woman who dreams of escaping her life as a dairymaid. Hetty becomes romantically involved with Arthur Donathorne, a young gentleman who is destined to inherit the estate. Their affair leads to tragic consequences as Hetty finds herself pregnant and abandoned by Arthur. The novel explores Hetty's internal struggle and the social stigma attached to her situation. Adam, devastated by Hetty's betrayal and Arthur's deception, undergoes a personal crisis while Arthur grapples with his guilt. Meanwhile, Dinah Morris, a Methodist preacher and cousin to Hetty, provides a moral and spiritual counterbalance, embodying compassion and selflessness. She eventually becomes Adam's love interest. The narrative examines the impact of moral choices and the themes of redemption and forgiveness, particularly through Dinah's influence on the other characters. Key Themes and Analysis Moral Responsibility and Consequences The novel emphasizes the importance of personal responsibility, especially in the actions of Arthur and Hetty. Arthur's thoughtless seduction of Hetty has devastating consequences, reflecting how even seemingly small choices can lead to tragic outcomes. Eliot paints a complex portrait of moral failure, where even the characters who make mistakes are treated with compassion. Social class and rural life Eliot masterfully captures the realities of rural English life in the early 1800s, with its social hierarchies, traditions, and economic hardships. The contrast between the aristocratic Arthur Donathorne and the working-class Adam Bede highlights the differences in power and privilege, while also showing the mutual dependency of these classes. Gender and the Role of Women Through the characters of Hetty and Dinah, Eliot explores the limited opportunities available to women in the 19th century. Hetty's beauty and desire for a better life lead her into ruin, while Dinah, a woman of spiritual strength, defies traditional gender roles by becoming a preacher. Eliot presents a nuanced view of women's choices and their consequences in a patriarchal society. Religion and Spirituality Dinah Morris, as a Methodist preacher, represents the moral and spiritual centre of the novel. Her deep empathy and faith in redemption contrast with the rigid and hypocritical views of some of the other characters. Eliot uses Dinah's character to question traditional religious institutions while promoting a more compassionate, individualised faith. Realism and psychological depth Eliot's hallmark as a writer is her psychological insight into characters. Adam Bede is notable for its realist style, avoiding melodrama in favour of deep character exploration. Eliot delves into the internal conflicts of each character, making them morally complex and multidimensional. Character Analysis Adam Bader The titular character, Adam is an idealised figure of strength, integrity and honesty. However, his rigid sense of morality and his idealisation of Hetty blind him to her flaws, leading to his own emotional suffering. 
Hetty Sorrell. A beautiful but vain young woman, Hetty is one of Elliot's most tragic figures. Her desires for wealth and status lead her to Arthur, whose abandonment results in her downfall. Elliot presents her as both culpable and a victim of her circumstances. Arthur Donithorne A charming but weak-willed aristocrat, Arthur's selfishness and lack of foresight result in tragedy for Hetty. His internal struggle between duty and desire is central to the novel's moral exploration. Dinah Morris A Methodist preacher and cousin to Hetty, Dinah is the moral conscience of the novel. Her compassion and ability to forgive make her the embodiment of Christian virtue, in contrast to the more rigid moralism of Adam. Writing Style George Eliot's writing in Adam Bede is characterised by its deep psychological realism and rich descriptions of rural life. Her narrative voice is omniscient and frequently delves into the inner thoughts of characters, allowing readers to see the complexities of their motivations and actions. The novel's pace is steady, focusing more on character development than plot twists. Eliot's use of dialect and attention to local detail creates an immersive, authentic portrayal of rural England. Key facts and notes Inspiration The character of Dinah Morris was inspired by Eliot's aunt, Elizabeth Evans, who was a Methodist preacher. Eliot's own rural upbringing influenced the novel's setting and its detailed depiction of village life. Moral complexity. One of Eliot's strengths is her refusal to create simple heroes and villains. Each character, even those who make grievous mistakes, is treated with empathy, reflecting Eliot's belief in the complexity of human nature. Realism. Adam Bede is an example of Eliot's commitment to realism in literature, eschewing the sensationalism of many novels of her time in favour of depicting ordinary life with all its moral ambiguities. Social Commentary The novel critiques the class system and gender roles of the time, particularly in how society judges and punishes women like Hetty more harshly than men like Arthur. Reception. Adam Bede was both a critical and commercial success upon its release, solidifying George Eliot's place as one of the foremost novelists of the Victorian era. Adam Bede is a richly textured novel that blends realism with moral inquiry, making it one of George Eliot's most enduring works. Through its nuanced characters and exploration of human weakness, moral responsibility and forgiveness, the novel offers profound insights into the human condition. Eliot's detailed portrayal of rural life, combined with her psychological depth, creates a narrative that is both timeless and deeply rooted in its social context. Eliot's detailed portrayal of rural life, combined with her psychological depth, creates a narrative that is both timeless and deeply rooted in its social context.